sorry Ollie, I weren't recording. Let me just uh, let's rewind that conversation. We were watching <laughs> we were watching a program yesterday. Um and it's called This is a Robbery and it's about a big robbery, wasn't it? Yeah. And they stole lots of paintings and uh, we're on our way to the charity shop because I said, Oh I bet I bet they've ended up in a charity shop because they can't be found. So Ollie's Ollie's gonna have his eye out in the charity shop, aren't ya? We're looking for a golden eagle and a picture with a bow and a lot of people on it. That's what we're looking for. And how much were they worth? Uh, Ten million. If you, that's not what they're worth, that's just the reward for finding them. So could have parked in there, but because you can get down with the buggies oh. so easily. Uh, no matter what type of picture it is, whether it's been drawn by a child, if there's a picture of a boat in there, we'll find gonna... it, right? Well, that's the thing with art, is... It has to be certain. It has to be a certain thing, because you um, can have a picture of a boat and it's worth nothing, and then you can have a picture of a boat and it's worth millions. I mean, there you go. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Yeah. <laughs> So unfortunately, we didn't find the missing paintings, although Ollie did have fun looking. Um, I got loads of Ella, but not much else, but I just thought I'd share it anyway. I did get a tin opener, because our one is really stiff. And these old fashioned type ones are my favorite. I've had so many, but yeah. I got these two cushions and I really, really love them. I think they'll look lovely in my bedroom. I got all this stuff and it came to 10 pounds 50. And there's just so much here. I got some leggings, one, two, three, four, five, five pairs of leggings, all different sizes. These are 12 to 18 months. I think these ones were two to three. Oh no, three to four. So lots of different sizes. Um, I've got a little summer hat. I love this pattern. And some socks, some little denim shorts. Love the little lace detail on them. They're next and two to three. We have boxes in the attic, all in size order. So this will all get sorted and be put away. So then when she reaches certain ages, the boxes will come down. I've got this muzzy and I absolutely love it. It's so soft and it's got little foxes on it. So, so sweet. I've got this vest. I liked it because it had stars and the moon and then a couple of sleep suits. I really like them. They're quite obviously a pair as well. Look obviously from the same person. Love this cardigan. It's so cute and chunky with the bows and it's really sweet. Nutmeg. Love it. It's really, really nice. Really, really soft. The travel shop that I go to, they do free baby items for a pound. And I showed you the big travel cot with all the baby clothes. So it does take a while to rummage through it. And the lady was like, I could see you over there. You look like you were in your element. I was like, yes, I am. I love this, it's so sweet, with little cherries on it. So Zara, six to nine months, so this will fit Ella now, because that's what size she's in. Love that. And then this little top, a little blue one, with the little frills on the shoulders. This is so dainty and so pretty. Isn't that sweet? And I like the blue one. This material is quite nice. And this is what brand? Oh, Primark. But I really like it. I actually think I've got it the other way around. I think it's meant to look like that. There we go. Buttons to the front, Helen. <laughs> got this knitted dress. It's got a bit of a stain on it, but I'm pretty good at getting stains out, so I think I'll be all right. I don't know what brand that is, actually. I'm not sure what brand that is. And this little top with the embroidered heart pretty i got a whole load of dungarees i love dungarees one two three four five love this green one very pretty denim i love denim love this one this is another six to nine so this will fit her now i'm gonna chuckle this in the wash and this denim one this one is a little on the bright side, but I still really like it. 
So I think I did really well. £10.50, I got a tonne of stuff. You hear that baby? She's bouncing. Um, and Liam's with her. Liam's watching her. I've done my nails. I've been doing my own gel nails for about nine years, but I've never done my toes. Ever. I normally just paint them. So I'm going to give it a try. Wish me luck. I'm going to do this lighter colour. So I've got the darker purple and then the light pinky purple. So I'm sat on the floor. So before... All done. That mark there, that's a beauty mark. What a strange place to have a beauty mark. For some reason they look more glistening on my fingers than they do on my toe. But that was hard work. Oh my gosh, my back is now killing me. My door knife was put on well I. <laughs> yeah. I thought I would just pop out. No. That's not shark. That's not shark. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this out. Oh, that's not shark. 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 Oh, that's that's really good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because Danny re-rendered this front and did such an amazing job. And we didn't have the money at the time to buy a new front door. It doesn't matter about the inside, because that's just, what, a bag of passes of fibre? Yeah. So my new door, when we got it, it was meant to come with a handle, but they gave us a shiny handle instead of the brush steel. So that's why it took longer because they had to source because we didn't want to have a brush steel letterbox and then a not brush steel handle so that will go there and i love it it's wood it's mixture <laughs> so danny's um using part of the old handle on here because this little thing that would be on this side is a lot of weight to be trying to open it for little hands yeah so um he's took the lock off the thingy and inside, and you can't see because of the sun, but inside it's actually wood. So these composite doors are plastic wood. A plastic wood, exactly that. Wow. Yeah. 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 You're giving her a little bit of your lolly. Do you like that little girl? Do you like it? He's like, it's a bit cold. Yeah. No, I don't think she wants it. Oh, she grabbed it. <laughs> oh, oh. She's like, I want the whole thing. <laughs> Ella, you're going to have the whole thing. <laughs> Are you sharing yours with the dog? <laughs> <laughs> Are you playing with the ball? Are you playing with the ball? <laughs> oh. And I'm going to do some gardening. Remember, not near the green ass. <laughs> I'm sure that's your dog. <laughs> she's meant to be my dog, but she's actually your dog. I think um, animals choose choose their owners more than anything else. She absolutely idolises Liam. I think it's because you feed her her dinner. Yeah. yeah. Right, I'm going to do some gardening. Are you enjoying the garden, little girl? Are you? Are you? Yay, little girl. With your little sun hat. So I've got these to go in, I'm going to put them in my window boxes because they're trailing and then in my little nursery, you know how I do, these are the cuttings of plants that I've taken already in my garden. I think these are very much ready to replant because they're in there solid. So um, these are hoopers, I love the red, 
these are more shade loving plants so um, I've got a few spots in my garden where I want these but I, I took loads of cuttings because you never know how many are actually going to take but actually I think that one's not doing too good that one's obviously not taken but the rest absolutely have that's ready to be replanted as well that's massive these are doing well these geraniums so yeah this is such a good part because in this area it gets morning sun afternoon shade so it doesn't put a lot of stress on the plants and then because it's terracotta and it's black it absorbs the heat which really warms up them roots which helps them take as well so this is a really good pot for me to take cuttings in it's always worked for me i've got some rosemary i've got some lavender in here it's lavender there hebe it's all sorts in here cameron is out dropping his cv off around it's really hard this this you know this time is so hard for people of his age trying to get jobs and stuff but he just keeps on trying and keeps on trying so wish him luck eh? oh wow this really has rooted in look at that That has rooted in so much and there's actually two there so if i'm nice and gentle there we go and it, i can just pot them up into pots because if i leave them in there they're just gonna just take up the whole space so whatever i don't need in my garden i'll put into pots and then i can always just hand them back to friends and stuff so seven of my hookahs took i've got one for this spot over here and then another two that I want either side of my drive in the two flower beds that are posing. I've actually got a big flower bed down the bottom and um, I might go and put some of them in there as well because I've not got a lot in there and these are so pretty. The foliage is stunning. Look how pretty it sort of glows in the sunlight. Can you see that as the sun's hitting it? It just seems to just radiate colour. And then they do have pretty little flowers, like spikes of flowers that come up as well. Um, but yeah, any that I don't use, again, I'll just, I'll just give them to my friends. So I'm just coming on to end this weekly vlog and then I'm going to start up another one. I'm just feeding Ella. She's got the cutest little outfit on. We actually just went to the charity shop and I took her with me. Yes, I did. And I said to her, um, she could be like your poster child because everything she's wearing came from here. <laughs> yes. And it was so funny this morning because... Danny's off today and he was putting a hat on this morning and Ella started to cry so every time the hat went on she cried and then he took it off because he was like is that a coincidence and then she would laugh and smile at him and then he put the back hat back on and then she'd start crying again she's such a sensitive little soul bless her yeah and when Danny was putting the door on she was crying at the drilling so we had to take her upstairs yeah she's so sensitive anyway I'll end the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.